All right, yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. Um, thank you for your support with last week's one. What was last week's one again? Was... Bang, bang, bro. What's happened bang, to you bang. today, fam? Are you all right? Oh, no, oh, no, no bro, I'm tired. <laughs> What's a shit around your neck of Do you know what is? This is This is a hoodie, isn't it? And it comes with a snood attached. Oh. Yeah, it's hella comfortable, isn't it? But it looks weird, though. But it's hella comfortable. Um, but yeah. Yeah, last week was the mark bang. Um, I'm still reeling from the mental health implications of having KFC for dinner. You know, six-piece chicken bucket. Blame your stupid area, fam. Kind of scarred me for life. Now, do you know what, though, yeah? You know what I clocked recently, yeah? My mental health is too good. Like, dangerously good. Should I explain, how, should I explain why? Please do. So recently, to be honest... With, with a lot of people, it's just same as a lot of people, I've been, you know, sitting at home, doing nothing, not really going out, obviously, because we're in lockdown. And I've just been eating, eating. And obviously, you can tell, cause from, I feel like this jumper makes my face look even fatter. <laughs> but as you can tell, I've been eating a lot of food, piling on the weight, all of that stuff, yeah? All that good stuff. So, obviously, I've been looking at myself like, yo, you're getting disgustingly fat. But the thing is... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck but then the thing is yeah like i'm so good with my mental health that like my next thought is like no you're not fat you're okay you're you're living your best life right now so that i need myself to be insecure again like back in like high school days i need myself to look at myself and be like yo you're a piece of fat shit man you're a fat bastard lose some weight but now i'm just so i'm so secure in myself that i just can't do it anymore i can't motivate myself anymore like so what if i have a big belly i don't care but that's not the that's not the attitude I want though. Calm, the attitude man. I want is is to be like yo, <laughs> fix up, bro. <laughs> bro, big belly because he eat right, fam. <laughs> big, big belly because I have a second dinners I want to eat. <laughs> Man's having two dinners, fam. Man had a KFC. I went to eat. His sister's cooking straight after. Not straight after. I waited till o'clock. Yeah, and we we, we recorded till like twelve. No, we did. We recorded for like three hours, bro. Oh yeah, that was that was a long one. That was, that was a long that one. <laughs> But I was calm, man. It's no, there's nothing wrong with being big. It's, I'm just, I'm just too secure these days, man. It's all right, man. I need to get some of that toxic mentality back. I need to untherapy myself. Uh, uh, I don't think you want to go down that route, you know. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? So there's, there's two wallads of the week, or two sections of wallad of the week this week. You mean the I'm f- not the wallad of the week this week? Yeah, you didn't make the hat trick this week. You didn't make the hat trick next week. Yeah. Next week. Yeah, you, I, I sent the link and you came in within one week, one minute, so it was, it was calm. It was calm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, there's the two sections, yeah. I'm going to start, there's a serious one and a not so serious one. I'm going to start with the serious one because um, the second one has something to do with what we're talking about today. Okay. Um, and the Titans at home can get involved with it as well. The first one is, I don't know, I'm not sure if you saw, but you know, um, so obviously there's been protests in India with the farmers yeah. protests yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Um, and it is obviously it is quite a, like a complicated topic and i do have some notes on it because uh, i don't want to like speak out of turn or <laughs> anything like that you don't want to like speak <laughs> if if anything i prefer not to speak but we're on a podcast so i'm gonna have to <laughs> i lie um yeah so oh, i do have a basic rundown of what's happening in it like it's the national law that was passed recently and it deregulates the agricultural sector so and also Prague, if you're listening to this i'm just reading off everything that Prague sent me because <laughs> i asked him the other day i was like yo like i understand obviously there's protests but like, what is actually going on in it so, I, cause I don't want i didn't want to speak without knowing yeah and he's saying like it opens up to foreign investment and makes it easier for international corporations to send up, set up in india but that's fine for places that already have a lot of private investment or have a more stable crops or have stronger farming unions but basically i think what the, the way to easily digest it is like the the farmers can now will now have to charge less for their products or people can buy their stuff for less so basically it's like, it's like, mm-hmm. it's like me saying like i'm taking away your minimum wage because right now they have a minimum yeah, price yeah. set on their crops and their their products and stuff but now the, the law has taken mm-hmm. away their minimum wage so companies and big corporations can now pay as low as they want and obviously the the in punjab and a couple of other states um well, these places in India, they don't want the farmers don't want this, so they're sort of um, 
protesting against it and the, the police have been quite violent with them um so i don't know if you saw but uh rihanna tweeted like why is no one talking about this and posted it on on her twitter and it yeah. um so she's not the one out of the week i think it's pretty admirable in it she's like speaking up for what's right and stuff like that who I think is the one of the week is first of all Modi. That pres that is the prime minister or president? Prime president? I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure, but you know the the guy in charge of, in in India, yeah. Like he he seems so butthurt by what like international celebrities getting involved that he got like other celebrities from India and Bollywood and stuff like that to then tweet their support for like India as a country and, and they made these hashtags called India together um let's sort out our internal issues among us and stuff like that there were never issues for you until other people started speaking up on it like I'm looking yeah. at like the the Indian cricket captain Virat Kohli yeah he's like let's sort out these issues together internally but why was it not an issue for you beforehand like why yeah, is yeah. it an issue when Rihanna's tweeting about it or what's that girl's name the 18 year old Greta Thunberg the um, environmentalist she tweeted out oh, Go on Apparently there, there was a protest And they were like Burning the picture and shit innit? Yeah bro They were burning pictures of her An 18 year old girl cause, Do you oh. know why Because, she, because she, she was telling her followers Which hashtags to use um, In protest And to raise awareness They're scared of hashtags fam. What the hell And then there's that girl I forgot Kangana Rango Or whatever her name is Yeah she, she was tweeting Like pictures of like Rihanna at, Like uh, uh, her concert innit Wearing like revealing clothes and saying like, "Is this what we the world has come to? We're taking advice from people like this." I'm like, "Whoa, what the hell? <sighs> what what what's her clothing got to do with anything, man?" I do understand for like you know for people like Vera Coley and stuff. Yeah, to be honest, we don't know what their their position in, on it is. It on it is yeah, but I know the laws in there are quite um, constricting in it. Like for example, Greta Thunberg when she released the hashtags that you can use to like fight against this. Okay, so yeah, Greta Thunberg, she tweeted out like hashtags that you can use to like fight against it and raise awareness, yeah. And they set out, they, in the government or the Delhi police, they sent out like this thing called like a first order of information charge or something. So basically they're suing her or, or, or it's a crime or something and she had to take it down. Do you know what I mean? So their laws are quite constricting in the fact that I don't think some celebrities can speak out about what's happening there and stuff, innit? But yeah, I would advise people to look into it and see what you can do to help out. So that's what the can about? what can you do to help out? Yeah. You kind of put me, kind of put me on the spot here, innit? What can you do? I think one of the main things is like raising awareness. So obviously, we live in like all the way on the other side of the world, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's it's hard to like do anything physically, um, but clearly you can see that like awareness has rattled them so much that now celebrities are now speak in, in India are starting to speak out about it and stuff, innit? Um, so I think one of the main things is raising awareness because um, if, if, if it affects us in it, obviously like farmers, a lot of food comes from over there, a lot of crops and um, produce will come from over there. And also it's, it's, it's just it's just inhumane in it with the way that some of these people have been treated by the police and stuff like that. So that's all. Is that gone? It's dread, man. I don't know enough to talk about the situation. I can't lie. Cool. So that's our our serious one out of the way. I have a less serious one. Um, I had like a video to show you and everything, but I've lost it. I tried to look for it all over the internet, but um, it's been deleted or something. I don't know. Um, so basically, there was this girl on TikTok. She like made a, a TikTok video about her having like a nice day out in New York, in it. So she, it, I'm not gonna lie, it was bougie in it. She even said you can have a bougie day out. So like, she in the morning she went to like a uh, she went to a hotel, like had a nice spa day. Um, use like expensive products and then in the, uh, for, went out for a nice dinner at, at lunch then she went to what's that it's Kif, Kif you know Kif Kif or whatever it's called what the, the clothing brand yeah yeah she went there to shop for some stuff and stuff like that um, then she left there and then she went back to the hotel I didn't like basically like a nice bougie day out in it and then this New York Times reporter or something must have like taken her video from TikTok and then taking it to Twitter and said, this video really pisses me off. Um, Why? So I mean, I'm understanding it. Like we're in a pandemic. It's kind of annoying that people are going out and spreading, spreading diseases unnecessarily in it if they don't have work and stuff. Yeah. But I think she was also like alluding to the fact that it seems quite pretentious. But at the same time, I feel like, because in the end, you know, you know, they found out that like 
the girl who recorded all that stuff, yeah, she's 22 years old. She works full time and she was just treating herself out to a nice day. Like, it's, she's not rich or anything. She's literally, literally just having a nice day out in New York. Do you know what I mean? It's not. It didn't seem that bad to me. So I think the the woman who the reporter who put her um, video onto Twitter and opened up to hella abuse is our second wild of the week. And what they found out afterwards as well, yeah, is that the woman who like was hating on her is like a trust fund baby. Like she has hella money from her from her dad, like saved up, inherited, and stuff like that. Like she's not poor or anything. She's a rich lady herself. So it's, it's weird to see the rich hating on the rich. Or the rich hating on poor people just having a nice day. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, and, what, well, she's still receiving hate? I think most people, like, found out that, you know, she's just a normal girl, like, treating herself to a day out. So then people started to turn on the report and said, they'd be like, yo, what the fuck? And the hate, and the hate came from, the hate stemmed from uh, her going out during a pandemic. No, like just I think like her like having an expensive day out, or like treating bro, herself so out today in New York. Who, who gives a fuck? Like it's, it's not her, it's not their peas. Mm. I agree. Peas, I agree. Geez, anything to cry over, fam. They're just any small thing they'll try to, to cry over, fam. They'll they'll just they'll find it and then they'll just they'll squeeze the living hurt uh, like life out of it, fam. I agree because fucking jarring, fam. Because it's weird, yeah. It's like. I don't know. Next week you can buy a PS5. Yeah, imagine someone you you post a picture of your PS5 and I don't know, like, land oh, oh, like there's people out here with only the PS3s, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why are you posting that shit? Well, not that far. Not that far. <laughs> I'm not saying it that deep, but like, yeah, there's always going to be people less off than you. That's not my fault. That's the system's fault. Do you know what I mean? Be angry, be angry with the system. Bro, who cares, bro, who cares what people spend with their peas, their, their money mm-hmm. that they've earned? Who cares? Especially for something so, like, normal as having a nice day out. Bro, it doesn't need to be something normal or... It doesn't matter. If, if, if that woman, yeah, went out, yeah, and, all, like, and all she bought was LV, no one should say anything. Bro. LV's normal as well. I'm thinking, like, if she no, went out and bought LV. an island, island or something... But who cares exactly? But who cares, fam? I would. I think, but being able to buy a whole island is mad. When there's so many homeless people, being able to buy a whole island is crazy, fam. But bro, why? Uh, so are they going to relocate um, the homeless people to that island? No, because the island. If they bought the island, the island was probably yeah. private and up for sale anyway. So th- you're telling me that they can use that money to help the homeless people? No. The why is that? Why is a fat island up for sale to one person? It's the game, man. Uh, yeah. the, that's what I'm saying. You gotta hate the game, not the player, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I agree. Don't hate the game. Hate, don't hate the player. Hate the game. That's it. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's kind of leading us on to like our topic of this week, isn't it? It's a bit of a light-hearted one. Um, it's just like we're gonna. I'm gonna give you a couple of different scenarios. Um, if we didn't even introduce ourselves. <laughs> They know us already, man. Yes. So I'm going to give AB a couple of scenarios uh, and then he's going to tell me his perfect day out in that situation. Are you ready, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, and, and you guys at home, I'm gonna, we're going to drop some questions for you throughout the week and you just drop in and let us know what you would choose. Okay, so first of all, going off what we saw, a perfect day out for you alone in London. So alone, nobody with you, just by yourself. Can I be honest there? Yeah. Like, see how everyone says, "Oh, yeah, like it's good to be alone." Or rare, rare, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm one of those guys that I I never want to be alone, fam. And <laughs> 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 I, I G, I've I've never done I've never done a move, even if something like going shopping or something. If I need to pick something up, yeah, I'm not doing yeah. that alone, fam. <laughs> you guys, listen, you guys don't understand how mad it is, yeah, because. AB will randomly be in the group chat like, yo, who's going on, who's on going Brent Cross today? We're like, what is it? He's like, I need to buy some black jeans. I'm like, bro, if you need to buy black jeans, <laughs> have an order online yeah. or go yourself, fam. Like, what's, yeah, man. what's the big deal with it? But like, he's always been like, yo, let's I go hate. Brent Cross. I've, al- I've always been with you my whole life. I w- I've always been around people, whether it's at home. Like, I've always been around people, fam. I don't know how it feels to be. The only time I'm alone is when like, I'm in my room. That's it. So lockdown must be you know what I'm saying? As soon as I step out of my room, 
as soon as I step out of my room, like I'm around people, fam. I, 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 well, I like to be around people, fam. I don't like being alone. Surely that. Do you like being alone? Balance, man. I, I like being around people as well, but there's, I, I can, I can do things on my own, though. Like what? What would you do? You answer it first, then I'll, 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 I'll I don't know. Like, like try and pick answer, if I, possible. I can't do, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> so a yeah. perfect, so a like, perfect day alone you for you is like not being alone. Not being alone. Oh, uh, gee, when have, when have you ever seen man alone? Well, then how can I see you alone if I'm not if I'm not there, bro? You like if you if you yeah you I can't I can't like you never really caught me slipping like outside like that. Yeah. I'm never alone, fam. Interesting, interesting. I I think I can be alone. I've been cinema by myself once. Once. What once. did you watch? <laughs> don't want to know now. I don't know if I I don't I don't know if I want to say this. What was it Fifty Shades? No, no, no. The day that Fifty Shades came out, me, you, and a couple other guys went to watch Kingsman. Remember? Kingsman was a good movie, though. Know? Yeah, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. We were at Staples Corner, no? Yeah. R.I.P. Man. <laughs> they turned the fucking trampoline place, bro. bro. That place is a wavy, fam. Trust I've me, we should go. Though. We should go one day. Sold it. They oh, sold go on, it. Go on, go on. Let's um, have a Titan. Let's have a Titan day in Staples. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I watched. Yeah, if you promise not to laugh. <laughs> You're laughing on yourself already. <laughs> I don't care. I was, so basically, one day, yeah, I can't remember what it was. I think it was like year eight times, yeah. My math teacher was a demon in it. Oh, yeah, he used to piss me off so much. Yeah. I didn't do the homework or something. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me make a day for him, a day of it. I'm just going to like bunk the whole day of school. I'm not going to go to school in it. Yeah. So I must have gone Harrow in it. Which is yeah. like, you know, you know, back in the day, I don't, they don't do this anymore, but like in game and stuff, yeah. They used to have like, you can go there and play games. I don't remember. So like in game stores, like game and game station and stuff, yeah, they would have like an Xbox or a PlayStation and like attached to the wall or something. And the, the controllers are attached to like a metal stick and you yeah. can go up there and like play FIFA or play whatever game they're like showing oh, for that shit. day in it. Yeah. You never, you never seen that? I've never seen No, they used to do it bare when we were younger. So they had that and I was just there playing. There were some other kids like bunking it from like some random square and it must have been from like Harrow High or some shit. Mm. And we were just playing, 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 playing. And then they must have like, they're like, oh, we have to go back to our school in it. I was like, come over, yeah. And I was like, you know what? I got a fiver. Let's go watch a movie in it. Yeah. So now I go to the movie place. Yeah. I'm like, I think Quantum of Solace or something was that in it. James Wan. And I go there and she's like, um, I don't think you're old enough to watch this movie. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? So I'm, I'm wearing school uniform in it. So oh, it's yeah, kind of yeah, obvious yeah. that I'm not old enough to watch this. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. What am I go-? like? Because I was getting bored in it. I was like, what am I going to do for another two hours? I can't go home early. Mm-hmm. So I was like, what should I do? So I was like, what other movies you got in it? She goes, uh, High School Musical 3. So you watched High School Musical 3 by itself? <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> it's a good movie, you know. I like High School Musical 3. I know, I never watched one. Any of them? Any of them. You're missing out on a cultural hit. The iconic piece of our childhood, bro. I watched the first one in cinema. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, so, gee, don't you think that's weird, fam? Well, watching movies by itself in cinema? No, watching High School Musical by itself in cinema. <laughs> <laughs> what the I, hell? I couldn't, I couldn't watch James Bond. There was nothing else I wanted to watch. I had to just sneak in. Got some samosas. Illuminati. <laughs> By the way, put because it gets it's reverse mirror and it, it goes that way. No, 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 it's calm. Trust me. No, no, as in it's reverse mirror, so you'll be passing it this pass it forward, bro. Oh, so and I'll pick up this way. Yeah, no, the no, no, other way, other way, other way, other way. Yeah. Wait, it's not even in <laughs> no. <Whee! laughs> nah, leave it. Okay. Yeah, leave, leave it. No, some for you. Oh, yeah, I'm, I haven't eaten dinner yet. So I'll eat a bit, <clears throat> but what was I gonna say? Yeah, so what's it called? Yeah, what's High School Musical Free? <laughs> what else have you done on them? Eat food on my own. Eat like out on my own, but not out out though. Like, just yeah, like normal fast food, and not like I've never gone to a restaurant and just sat down by myself and eating food. Like at Nando's or something. Mm. I don't know, you know. I don't yeah. 
the perfect day out alone. I actually have had days out alone, actually. Um, huh? Shall I tell you about one time, yeah? <laughs> I feel like I'm exposing myself. <laughs> All right, do you want to hear about a time I was down bad, yeah? I was down very, very bad. So just broken up with my ex. <laughs> that was like, you know what? It's the last summer we have our Oyster cards, like our under, under, was it under 18 Oyster cards and stuff in it. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to just go around, fuck, I'm going to get on a bus, go around London and make them a, under 18, under 18. Um. So we're like a school Oyster in it. I'm going to go around London and just like, like have a nice summer by myself and stuff obviously like Alaska and um Sequa there as well like in other times of day but one day I was just, you know what, I'm just gonna go on the bus like wherever and then I go take a <laughs> do you know what's mad therapeutic yeah and like this is something that's gonna sound embarrassing yeah but I'm not embarrassed by this at all it is hella hella therapeutic adult coloring books fam adult coloring books are the one I don't think you understand how therapeutic they are. Like you just sit there, like coloring in between the lines and stuff. Not me, because I can't color in between the lines. I'm shit. I color it. You can't color in between the lines. I can. I can. But like, I leave like what you know. I, said, those, you I know, can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> you know those little white patches, isn't it? Yeah. Like where you haven't fully colored it in, but you can't like. Yeah, that happens to me. You can't like. You're a just retard. Like, you know. Just just like my hair in the picture behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually taking on my birthday, you know. Yeah, yeah, like this today, today, one year ago. Yeah. Yeah, but so I got on the bus. I took a coloring book with me. I, t- I took a book as well to read. And I must have gone to like Kyoto Garden. You know, K- Kyoto yeah, Garden. Yeah, yeah, in uh, Kensington. Holland Park. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went there, I just sat there and just chilled by myself. That's not that bad. Yeah. So, wait, did co- you color in that park? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> What a sad life you live. I was damn bad, bro. I was damn bad. Could have, could have, you could have shouted, man, fam. I, did, I wanted to be alone and just listen to my music on the bus. Go for what, somewhere. Heavy metal shit. No, no, I was. I think I was listening to a lot of the weekend. Then, the weekend came out with "Be Behind the Madness." I remember the this exact song. I remember getting on the bus and like playing, listening to the weekend's new album for the first time. Very traumatic experience for me, man. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, yeah perfect day for myself. Yeah. Life. You aim in the same sense, isn't it? That's when you know when like people go through their fuckboy phase afterwards. They like evolve into like they go through like their villain saga, innit? it? I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. That's never happened to me. Why are you lying? You're still, it, still in that phase. Nah, it should have happened to me, innit? I didn't make use of it when I was a kid, and now I'm too old to be going through a villain phase. <laughs> <laughs> you already are. You you are you are a villain. No, I'm not. Don't, don't give don't give the people. False, false images of me, bro. So yeah, probably a, a good day for me is probably just like listen to music and then going like either a long bus ride or like going for a long walk, and that's it. If I if I go out, otherwise I'll be just sitting at home. Any ideas on what perfect day I would be for you? What alone? Yeah, it's definitely not what the fuck you done. <laughs> um, I like walks, but not alone. I like I like I would like to walk with someone else. Like a girl, my girl. Yeah, I don't have one. So you, you I think you might be schizophrenic, bro. If you've yeah, been walking with her, she don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you've been walking alone all your life. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I like going to walks with other people. Um, I can't answer the alone thing, man. It's sorry, it's sorry calm. to be it's calm. It's calm. It's calm. Don't worry, bro. Sorry Next to be boring. One. Perfect day out with a man then. And you can you can bring up past examples if you had one. It depends what mood I'm in, fam. If I'm if I'm in an activities mood or like a chill mood. If if I say to think of one that you've had in London with the man then, what comes to mind? I like the Rona, the last link up, the Rona Wobs link up. I feel I feel like a lot of people came up for that. Yeah, that was literally a, like a year today. Yeah, a year ago today. Mm. Um that was really nice. Like that was calm. Cause it was an all you can eat buffet. That's why I liked it. Not because of the people. <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> you fucking bastard. No joking. No joking. Carry on. Uh, there's been some good days, but I can't remember. Like 
It must be like motives that you've had with with landlord, like just you guys. Or are they so regular that nothing actually stands out? It's re- like I've gee, like when I buck landlord, it's more more time we're going out to eat or something or to do something. Yeah, that's but the most. But I do that all the time, like do you know what I'm saying? Not obviously not now, but um, <laughs> when we went Benny Hanna, that was that was quite like, sick. Yo, you fucked up the mic again. Yeah, I literally like tapped it, fam, with my cheek. It's calm, it's calm. Yeah. What's what's Benny Hanna like? I've never been there. It was nice, man. Like obviously, it's the where they the cook the food in front of you, innit? Yeah. Um, I was the, the like the guy was doing like the guy was moving mad. The chef was moving mad, techie, and I like there was a part there was a part of me that wished that he flopped. Why? Just so it would be funny, innit? You're a hater. You know, just so it would be funny. You're a hater, innit? fam. You're no, actually no, a hater. No, 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 man, no, no, no. It's no. all coming out, you know. No, just so it would be funny, innit? Like say like because he do like like he'll cut up the pawns and then he flip the fucking show in the air and catch it with his hat and that. And I'm just thinking, imagine he done that and just hit his face. <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he would style it out, like, like to to look like he meant it, but that would be quite funny, innit? <laughs> so that that was that was what 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 cuisine? Them, are ta- they have them there? times is like sushi and seafood. Oh, uh, you don't like, like sushi and stuff. You don't like I do like sushi. I bang sushi. What are you talking about? Last week you were like East uh, East Asian food is like the worst cuisine to you. No, uh, Ch- the Chinese sushi is not Chinese. Japanese, yeah, mm. Chinese. I can't do Chinese foods, man. I like Chinese food. Jeez, because it gave me it gave me food poisoning for like two weeks, bro. I was traumatized. So you had one bad experience, and now you're scared. Yeah, bro, I'm traumatized, fam. <laughs> that was like me when I was younger. One time, I was in the car. I had like, you know, the Muller corners, the yogurt ones. Mm. I must have had like the strawberry flavor for the first time as a kid. In it, I was in the car, and in the car, I get motion sickness. But I didn't clock this when I was that young. And then I must have had it and vomited afterwards, innit? So then for like all of the rest of my childhood, I associated like strawberry yogurt with vomiting in it. So I never yeah. tried like strawberry yogurt after that. I was like, brother, I never want to do that. But now I have it and it's calm, innit? It's banging though. Yeah. Um them times where we used where we used to go like rock climbing and that, that was that was quite good. Mm. Rock was, was a good one. Um because I was driving then as well, man. I was misdriving. Mm. Um, All the freedom and stuff in it. I was a uh, no. I just I just like driving in it. I miss driving too. Why you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I ain't laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not still going to videos, you know. Of me driving. I mean, what videos? Um. Anyway. <laughs> that summer was quite good actually yeah it was it was uh, I feel like the only thing left for the man to do is go on holiday mm. we're back at we're back at this conversation that doesn't involve you <laughs> I know it involves me because I'm the only one you guys can't convince I know I'm, I'm when it comes to involving anyone it's, it's me mainly because you have to convince me the most why are you so against it? I get like holiday anxiety in it, like planning a holiday. There's too much, like too many variables that can go wrong. I don't like planning things way far in ahead. Do you know what I mean? Like I know that it's going to flop or I feel like it's going to flop. Do you know what I mean? It's never going to go on holiday? No, nah, I've been on holiday. Or, or is it just when it comes to the mandem? I don't trust you guys. <laughs> no, I'm joking. What do you mean? But I plan some sick holidays, man. I, I'll take your word on that. I'll take your word on that. Anyway... For me, yeah, this is gonna sound like it's gonna sound weird to some people. I don't think it will sound weird to like people like us, to be honest. Maybe to you, because obviously you don't smoke shisha, yeah. But personally, for me, yeah, like a good relaxing day with the mandem is like when I had a long day at work with the mandem, because I used to work with the mandem. But obviously now, Rona happened and we got we got shut down. But you know, our RIP in it. Rest in one peace. Of the, one of the saddest days of my life. Rest in peace. I have a crazy story about that, you know. Gee, what? Gee, why is every story crazy story for when it when it comes to? You? I think I'm gonna embarrass myself again with this one. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. You know what? I'm I'm not embarrassed in it. It was an emotional time. Yeah, so like obviously lockdown one year, we're all like at home, and like the main thing that kept me going here is like while I'm working, 
at work I'm about to say what I do but like while I'm working I'm thinking oh this is going to be sick to tell the Monday when we go back to work or like I can't wait to go back to work and like say this happened and say that happened and say this happened in it and then um like what's it called then just one day our managers just like message us and like yo um we want we have an announcement can you all like come into a a, 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 a team's tour Microsoft team's call and so we'll jump to the Microsoft team's call and then yada 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 they basically say that we're all fired <laughs> we didn't get fired in it like our, our center got shut down in it and then they were like your options are to move to another center or like or or, or quit but you won't get fired basically um but at that point it's kind of like it's like i've been working there for like five years and those are all my friends they're not like they're not just co-workers they're literally you know in it like preg them are the, the people I actually chill with outside of work as well and they they still they chill with us and everything like i'm really close with them we've been on holiday together and everything so it's just like hold on <laughs> i just trying to gloss over that quickly because i knew he was gonna say something <laughs> what did you just say should i tell you what should i tell you what it is though yeah i've been on staycations with them like in in, in england though do you know what i mean like where we drive somewhere and they have the same issues that you have as well because last the last one we went to lake district yeah I said no all the way to like literally the night they were leaving. Like Alaska kept bugging me and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll come. And like literally 10 minutes before they were leaving, I've had to pack everything and we went. Um, but yeah, so we're in this call and it's hella sad, isn't it? I'm not going to lie, I turned off my camera. I, I cried a lot. <laughs> and then my dad came with him, yeah. And he's giving me some food. But sometimes, yeah, like when it comes to like being interrupted in... um my call I, I get a bit annoyed in it because like clearly i got headphones on i'm speaking to the mic i don't want to be interrupted in it yeah so he was like he was giving me the food and he saw me like upset and stuff and i started i saw him i started to stop more yeah <laughs> and then, you got to cry more <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah. it's, it's awkward in it when someone watches you in it. like someone's coming in and then like, asking are you okay in it and then you know what he thought he was crying yeah because he came and interrupted me <laughs> <laughs> and he's like i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't realize you were working and i was like i couldn't say anything because at this point i was just like <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I swear, your like, dad's the cutest person ever man. i swear man i miss your dad <laughs> your dad's very cute man yeah I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry sorry how about you're working <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you're working. He's like, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. I was like, nice cop. And then I thought that like, you know when you like you sub you like you like. <gasps> yeah, yeah. When you get hit as a child and you cry like that, it's like I'm yeah. leaving this fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I just, so I, I explained to him, yeah, and he was like, oh, like then he started like you know like comfort me and stuff in it. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's how I got fired during lockdown. You didn't get fired. <laughs> to me, it feels like in it because, like, the way that we're working now, it just uh, everyone's gone. It's obviously, alhamdulillah, I have a, at the end of the day, I still have a job and I still have a way to make money in it. But it's still, it was, it was emotional time in it. So yeah, well, well, well I was gonna say, yeah, 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 the, like perfect day out with the Monday in it. Yeah. One of my favorite days out is like just having a long day at work, and then like message everyone, be like, yo, should we go lounge? And it's, I feel like it's the, it's the, like, our equivalent of going down to the pub after work. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, you message yeah. people and people are like, yeah, whatever. And then, like, loads of people from different places, like, people from football will come, people from school will come, people that used to work with you will come. And you literally just sit, you get there, like, at a nine o'clock, yeah? And you just talk, 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 and suddenly it's one o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And honestly, those are some of the days that I miss the most because it's just, like, just talking and, like, being around your friends. It's calm. It's like a chill vibe, isn't it? Yeah, it's honestly one of my favorite things to do. Can't lie. So for all those people that are like, oh, it's 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 so dead, like it's not even a motive. The f- actual thing isn't a motive. It's like just the being able to sit with your friends and having a place to talk and catching up with your friends and like talking about random shit. Mm. We took it for granted, man. I can't lie. Well, we took a lot of things for granted, man. Mm. Would you feel like? Would you say that your work made you a better person? I mean, the work I do, yeah. I feel like it made me a less patient person, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes this is coming from someone that's not patient already. 
I think I'm quick. I'm I'm pretty patient. But I think the more I got into like, because I've been there for like by five. By now I've been there for like five years in it with the company. Because I, I I knew what I was doing. I was like, I think. Yeah, I'm kind of one of those people that like if I know what I'm doing, and other people don't know what they're doing, it kind of irks me. Like it annoys me a little bit. So, do you, do you know what I mean? I don't have to explain it. Like, is it like if, if they're part of your team? Yeah, like if if I have to baby someone too much, I, I get annoyed with it. I can't lie. Go on, drop names. Nah, Prague. nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. Prague, <laughs> Prague has been working like he worked there like pretty much the same time as me. I'm joking. Um, I'm joking. Senior member in it. Senior member right here. Um, but yeah, that that would be like a, a good chill day for me. Going to yeah. the pub after work. Not pub. Lounge from lounge. Yo, the pub equivalent. Mm, I guess, I guess. I, I like if if I explain it like that, I see the appeal of why why British white people go to the pub. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, a way yeah. to offload all that stress that you had. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but me and Leska have had loads of like good days out in London and stuff. What's what is your best day out like? I have, I have another funny one here, but this time it's not degrading me. <laughs> For once, it's Alaska. <laughs> it's degrading Alaska. No, to be honest, it's not yet. Like we had a really good day out here, but I had to salvage at the end because something might happen. So let me explain. So at the British Museum, me and him are both into anime and, and manga, and it manga is like the comic version of like the anime, like the drawings and stuff in it. And at the British Museum, they're having a, a manga exhibition where you can go and see like iconic panels and like see like the history and shit like that in it. So we went there like earlier, went to the museum, uh, saw the exhibition. Then we run, went around the museum just looking at random things. And like, you know, when you go to a museum with the mandem, it's hella funny because you just look at serious shit, yeah? And be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you're like, you're, I don't know, you see a statue and be like, why this guy got his dick out? Only you would think that, you know. No, but don't you do that when you go to like a serious art place or a serious like museum, yeah? And you're with the mandem, you just start making fun of everything, bro. I've never been museum with a mandem. Have you not? It's fun, man. I can't lie. I can't lie. Only, only as a date. Ah, nice, nice, nice. You didn't take me. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> anyway, so then me and Laska, we after we finished at the museum, we we're like, it's pretty early. We don't want to end off the day like this, innit? So we must have got Boris bikes in it. The, the Uber Uber bikes, the jump ones that say jump, red ones that say jump on the side. And bear in mind, we've got like loads of stuff for our family, like in the basket of the um the bike. So we're riding on the road, like having races and shit, yeah. And then I'm following uh, uh, Google Maps here because we're going to Miko um, to eat food. And he's like, he remembers where it is. So he's like, we can go straight. I was like, I got a quicker way. We'll go for backwards, isn't it? And we're like, yeah, say nothing. We're going to have a race. He gets there first, yeah. So obviously I get there first, but he's nowhere to be seen. I'm calling him, no pickup in it. I can see where this is going already. So I'm riding, I'm riding back up the road the way that he came on the main road, in it, yeah? And all I see is him next to a bus stop here, kicking the shit out of the bike. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, yo, what happened? <laughs> Do you know how angry you have to be, yeah? To kick the bike for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> He's there kicking the bike here. Yeah? I'm like, yo, what happened here? Yeah? And he goes to me, bro, I swear to God, the amount of taxes we pay and they can't fix these shitty roads, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he was riding, yeah? And he must have rode the bike straight into a pole, yeah? Oh, no. And then all the stuff that you got for like his mom and his sisters, yeah, they all <laughs> dropped out, yeah. Bear in mind, it started raining. <laughs> That's so dread. It started raining, yeah. And then he's like, got over to the side, and then he's like, kicking it, kicking it. I'm like, yo, uh, and he hasn't got his jump on, in it. I'm like, where's your jumper, yeah? I look at the bike, his jumper is caught in with, within the gears of the wheels or something, in it, caught in with the wheels. <laughs> Oh, so he's like, brother, cock it. <laughs> oh shit, poor guy. So I'm like, let me get out here. Yeah? I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. When I oh, it's starting to rip. He's like, bro, now nah, fuck this, man. Fuck this. Fuck this. He was he was fuming at this. <laughs> fuming at this point, yeah. Man, squared up to a bike. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> at this point he goes like he's like fuck it let's just i'm gonna leave the jacket in it what's the point i was like i can rip it out for you and then i don't know you can maybe wear it ripped or something isn't it? yeah so i rip it off yeah <laughs> he's fuming because obviously there's a jacket that he paid for and it's ripped in it and all the stuff got ruined i was like don't worry you can put it into my bag that, that, that's not the first time you ripped a friend's jacket Oh, shut up, man. What nonsense is this? I never ripped your jacket. First, you're telling, you're telling the followers that I slapped tackle you on concrete and broke your legs. You did. Yeah. You did and though. now you're saying that I, ri- I ripped your jacket. You did. You did. I remember how your jacket ripped, yeah? Someone was chasing you around. That someone and- was you. <laughs> <laughs> in the playground. And so- someone had like, you know, like in-, in school, they had the windows that open outwards. Yeah, man. Like the window was faced out. You know how dumb that is. We play football there. Imagine someone just run their head straight into the window. Do you idiot? No, it was behind the bench, fam. No, who's gonna play football behind the bench? That's where apparently I slide tackle you as well. It was behind no, the bench. You slide, no, you slide tackle me on the smaller playground. No, I, I never, we never, I never played football in that playground with you, bro. Yes, you did, fam. It was during the free period, fam. <laughs> nah, get out of here, man. It was get the first year of six form, bro. Man, slide tackle me. <laughs> Shut up, man. Those fucking <laughs> size fourteen air forces. <laughs> You're a size then, 11, you know. Why are we in three sizes up? I'm not size 11, fam. I'm what size, size nine, nine and a half. I wasn't wearing size 40. I don't know who, who made that up. What some, nonsense is that? Some, some big shoes. Anyway, go and continue. Anyway, so like, I'm like, bro, calm down. It's all right. Meat co is right there. We'll get some food. Because he's obviously hungry at this point, isn't it? Yeah. He hasn't eaten in five hours. And, and two hours is too long for uh, Lasko, isn't it? So I'm like, let's get, let's get some food. We'll get like, I'll, I'll pay for the food. It's calm. Yeah. He just wanted to eat, innit? He he also wanted to eat as well, so so we go into the thing and we ask for the bag. It's, it's only us in the restaurant, and like I pay for the food and stuff. Yeah, and he started to calm down a bit, and we're like <laughs> the food, and then he was like, "Nah, bro, I can't lie. I just, just want to go home in it." I'm thinking like, "Yo, it's still like three or four o'clock." I, I when I'm out, I don't want to go home and just that's it. Um, so Did then you just I was come like, "Me up at like eight o'clock in the morning." Yeah, because the, the we had I don't even got like an early slot for the exhibition or something, innit? Mm. Yeah, so then I was like, you know what? I'll well, f- fuck. Oh no, no. So <laughs> when I got the jacket out of the back here, yeah, I had to then lock his bike in it because you can't otherwise you keep charging you money. So I locked the bike here, yeah, and he picked it up and he threw it against the bus stop, fam. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, you dude? He's like, fucking bike, fam. I was like, it's not the bike's fault. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm then telling that story on the pod. I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> and then what's it called? So we eat our food. The food is very nice. We had a lot of food. I bought him extra extra big steak or something just to calm down. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? Let's let's not go home. I order us an Uber. I'll get us some tickets to every man in it. You know, every man in those cinemas where you can sit down. Sofa, sofa, cinema, yeah, sofa yeah. and stuff in it, and like they they bring the food to you and stuff like that. Which and one we'll did you go to? Made of L or? Uh, Islington. Fucking this! Why did you go all the way to Islington? We were because fo- it wasn't. It was the closest one to Miko. Okay, okay. Yeah, we were in Miko, innit? So it was the closest one to there. So we got the Uber. We went there. It was it was a good movie. I think h- him being relaxed on the on the sofa was calm. Yeah, we got, we got separate sofas for, by the way for the people. Gas there, yeah. bag? No, you didn't. Well, like, so we you did. got so you got two two seaters. No, we didn't. But it was no wor- there though. We we ordered we ordered it in a place where you know like there's there's three sofas in one each row, yeah? Yeah. We ordered the middle one so that we would basically have the same row because no one else was gonna order the other the other two. And nobody else ordered the other two. So then we had two and then I looked I looked to the right here and he's like falling asleep on the sofa. <laughs> uh but that was that was that was a good day, like other than his his you, torment with the bike. <laughs> for you, yeah, not for him. And then I think after that we just messaged the man, the man in the group chat like, should we go uh, uh, lounge? And then we all in lounge. And I was like, yeah, that's a good day, man. That's for me. Other than like the whole fiasco with the bike, that's a very good day for me. Almost perfect. With the man. I feel like I feel like that story makes it perfect though. It makes it podcast worthy. No, otherwise, like- otherwise I'll just be describing a Monday, a bro, a bromance day between me and Lasko. <laughs> Speaking of, by the way, next question is a perfect day out with a girl. Go on, you first. I'm going to go first. You got the experience here, bro. I ain't been on a date in time. Nor have I, but... Uh, I like to do activities, innit? Mm. So, like, maybe an activity. 
and like a dinner or like a late lunch, depending on the the girl's curfew in it. How young are you dating? What the hell? None, bro. Oh my. <laughs> You meant like back in the day, yeah, I know, I know. Actually, no, but to be honest, if, you, if you're bring, dating brown girls, it's still a curfew anyway. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And, so what uh, was that? An activity? Activity and like a late... Give late us an, exa- an example of an activity. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to, you know, you know what I'm saying? If I want to... Put the man them on, fam. Come on, give us some nah, advice. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to put the man them on, fam. I put the man them on, but not the, the, not, not. I want, I want to say on the podcast. You get me? Got to keep a couple, couple of exclusive game. You get me? But the ones that I'm, I'm willing to share, mm-hmm. just regular shit like mini golf is quite good. Have you been junkyard? Nah. Junkyard is quite good. I think that's a very nice date place. Mm. Um, swingers is quite is decent. What the hell is that? Is mini golf in it? Oh, it's I not. Sw- it's not. Swingers are like hookers, no? It's not a man. It's not. Oh, that's prostitutes, bro. This is why I'm still single, fam. <laughs> so are you. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was bowling? Obviously, that's standard. Yeah. I'm trying to think, fam. This I don't want to give away my. I have a. I don't know if it's a controversial opinion, yeah? Yeah. But I don't think it's a popular opinion. I don't like bowling. Why? Because you're shit at it? No, I'm sick at it. I win most of the time, innit? Why don't you I'm like quite, it? I'm good at it, yeah, but it's just so awkward, fam. Like, you you go up, to, you take a thing. I hate the walk back. I yeah, hate Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, you, you, throw it, you throw it, yeah? And then, like, you turn around and everyone's just looking at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you, like, go walk back, like... I mean, I just threw a ball at a, bu- a bunch of... I don't know what they're called Skittles, yeah There's nothing really to celebrate So what, yeah. what, I, I don't know how to walk back In that situation Yeah, yeah, yeah Just go, you got you got to do the Vince My man, is not Just walk like <laughs> um, I feel like you have to be Really close to someone Or really like They have to be very openly expressive Of their Of what yeah. they're feeling at the moment Yeah Because yeah. if you go with people Where it's just like Yeah, I lie You just got to walk back like But then that's me though I'm, I'm like well done. <laughs> oh, you got cute hands, you know. They're very small. I'm putting them away. <laughs> <laughs> I bade you in, bro. <laughs> um, you know, you know, you know that move where people go like they can compare hand sizes in it, so they can like touch it. <laughs> I can't do that. More time, shit. Her hand is bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> um. I like walks. Hmm. Um, walks is quite good. Uh, I don't know, man. What about you? I've never been on a date in my life. Literally, the episode before we spoke about <laughs> you going on a date. Oh, well, yeah. Did I say what I did on that one? You didn't say what you did. You just said that you like to keep it between you and the person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I won't, I won't say what I did on that one, but it's... It's more on like whatever that person likes. The the activity. I obviously you probably know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, yeah. Yeah. Well, also, Eddie, did he go to the Lavender, Lavender Gardens in South? Nah. Oh, okay. I saw no. he went like far, in it. Kensington. Oh. Battersea, Battersea, yeah, Battersea. Went to Battersea Dogs Home. Yeah. So obviously. Were you giving it back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Oh, right, just keep that, keep well, that no, in. Jacob, 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 please. Jacob. Uh, well, no, I'm Jacob, Jacob. I like, I like the person as well, man. Please. That's yeah, that's a, that's a well, that's an interesting question. Yeah, I feel like if if we go into this question, we might have to keep that bit in. But I don't mind to be honest. Um, do you think you can be friends with your ex? No. All of your exes are watching right now, thinking it's not what you told me. There's not many of them. <laughs> nah. If I had to answer that question, yeah, I think I've I've done it. I am I am good friends with my ex, but if I had to do it again, um, but if I had to do it again, like if I had to go back to the time where we broke up, would I stay friends with her? 
I say no. And I've told I've told them this as well. Why? Not because I I I I'm glad I did because I think now we we don't have like obviously we don't have no feelings for each other and like we're good friends and stuff in it. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Um. Are you sure though? I'm very sure. Trust me. Actually, that sounds rude, but I, I am sure, and I'm sure she's sure as well. So I'm Jake. Uh, I'm sure. I just want to stir some stuff up, man. I'm sorry. Uh, you got some angry emails after this from her. No, anyway, but, emails like say you don't, you ain't got a number. So the reason why I said yeah that like I if I had to do it again, I would I wouldn't stay friends yeah is because like I feel like it gave it gave me a tough time in it and stopped me it stopped me from like pursuing other things in my life. If that makes sense. Pursuing other girl. Uh, other uh, avenues in life. So other girls. Yeah, because I feel like there was there was, there was people who were like. Were Why are you trying to, to sugarcoat it, fam? <clears throat> There's people who were open to getting to know me, but I wasn't just because obviously I was still hung up of this idea in my head. What was his name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't yeah, answer like, the, my question, by the way. You know, what would be a good day? Yeah, with a, with your girl. Yeah, it, just like that, it would depend on... Because the thing that I did with her was something that she really enjoys. And it was based on her personality and her likes and interests. Again, it has it depends on that, innit? And also, for that one, I let her choose where to go. You let the girl choose? Yeah. but But I chose, but I let her choose, if that makes sense. So I gave, like a ba- I made like a bag, of like ideas, options, yeah, yeah, options yeah. in it, and then you, you like every time you pick one out, we we do that one in it. So yeah, it, it basically just depends on like, what the, what the person's in, in, into in it, what they're interested. In. I don't think it could ever be like a <clears throat> dinner. That's it. Ever. Just a dinner. Yeah, I've done that for a first date. First date. Ugh. But listen, no, no, no. So hear me out, yeah. It yeah. wasn't like a dinner, yeah. No, yeah. actually, no. It wasn't a dinner. Actually, yeah. it was like a late lunch, yeah? yeah. But there's like this restaurant in um, Farringdon, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Farringdon. Uh-huh. So basically, um, it's like a restaurant that gives that like, respect to blind people, isn't it? So, hmm? hear me out, yeah. Okay. I forgot the name of the fucking thing from. I just call it a blind restaurant, yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. No, no, it, the, I'm sorry. So you you walk in and there's like a lobby, yeah? And it, there's, yeah. You, they bring out a menu and you choose. You don't What's know what you get. lobby, you know? You, you don't get what you... You don't know what you eat, by the way. So you could choose where you want to eat the meat, seafood, veggie or the vegan one, innit? Oh, so you give like a dietary requirement kind yeah. of guideline. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the only thing you choose. <laughs> okay. Wait, so you choose. Obviously, me and the person uh, chose the seafood one. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, um, so you choose your, your finger, your menu, and yeah. then a waiter comes in and the waiter is blind. Yeah. Huh? The waiter is blind, bro. Okay. And you put your hand on the shoulder and it leads you to your table. Yeah. And you have to close your eyes. Well, even if you open your eyes, it doesn't like make a difference because it's just pitch black. Yeah. Okay. So it leads you to your table uh-huh. um, and then that's it. And you just, they bring you your food and you just have to guess what you eat, fam. You just have to eat. You have to eat what they give you. And okay. everything is just pitch black, fam. Like literally, pitch, bro. Imagine. So Wait, you eat your food in pitch black as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are there other people in the room with you? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of scary, fam. Bro, trust me, it's, it was it was, a, it was a sick experience. I wouldn't do it again, but it was a good. <laughs> it was a what good experience. You, what did you? What food did you get, end up getting? The seafood, do you, bro. Do you even know? know? I don't even know. It was a mad. I don't know. I don't honestly. I don't know. So it has I to be boneless then at that point, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Because if they give you ones with bones in the dark, fam, that's yeah, that's, that's cool. big. Um, yeah, like that. That was that was quite funny. And then um, obviously you can't use your phones or nothing. Like you can't. Use, and then when you're done, mm-hmm. um, yeah, when they're done, your your weight will lead you out, and then you have to guess what you ate, and then they show you everything that you ate in it. Did you guess right? No, I didn't guess. I didn't guess any of them, fam. That was some some <laughs> exquisite shit, fam. I don't know. Um, I bet it was like fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> I just went six one canteen, fam. <laughs> My eyes closed. Pasta king or not? I know. Panini. 
Um, but yeah, so done that. Then we ended up walking like around the area for like fucking three hours, son. Oh, huh? yeah, it was, it was in the summer, and it? it was like a nice summer's day, yeah. Like, literally, just f- first time meeting this person, well, techni- <laughs> technically, first. Oh, wow, that's kind of madness for the first time, you know. Yeah. To be honest, with that one, yeah, what you said is what I is not what I mean by like I wouldn't take them out for dinner because dinner is just like a lot of talking. But that's one of the things. Those are one of the examples that I would love to do, even with the mandem, because it's like uh, it sounds like a, like a very London like a uh, like a city kind of thing, yeah. But I love those things where they temporarily have like an experience that you can go for, like like for what you're talking about it. Like it's an experience, and you try it one time. And you make a day out of it. That's so lit, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was a, it was a very, very good day, fam. Aww. And we ended up shut up, and then, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then um, we fucking. Like, I remember we ended up walking to like to Bethnal Green from Shoreditch to Bethnal Green. That po- that post munch walk always bangs, fam. Yeah, but I can't. Yeah, like, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. My stomach was going because <laughs> that seafood, fam. That seafood was dodge, fam. Um, no, nah, I'm joking. I only said that for for entertainment purposes. Nah, nah. Yeah, I bet your, your stomach was going like. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Trust me. <laughs> and then um, I ended up walking to like Bethnal Green from like Shoreditch. Yeah. Um, they're back to Shoreditch again. Like we done it while we lapped it. This this episode might be good. Might go from I was gonna call it, um, perfect day out. We might just call it down bad, and we miss you guys. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But so let me get one thing straight. Yeah, the so you don't you go to this restaurant. Yeah, and it's, it's super dark in it, and they lead you to the table. And you get food, but you you never order the food. You don't know what food that you're gonna get. You just let, give them your dietary requirements, mm. and whatever food comes will be a surprise to you. Yeah, kind of sounds like when you got me KFC, but you know, in my case, it wasn't that exciting. Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed you know, to do with it? You know, you know, know like on our official channel TikTok here. Yeah? We put up the the video of um, us doing the mystery McBang, yeah, McBang, yeah, and then somebody commented, <laughs> "Whoever got you KFC is vile." <laughs> it's what wild, vile, like disgusting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a follow as well. I checked; they don't follow us or anything. They just like. Whoever got you KFC is vile. <laughs> bro, in my defense, bro, yeah, bro, there's nothing in your area, fam. Uh, I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't think you had the last of this, to be honest. I don't give a fuck, fam. Watch what I get you next time. I'm, I'm excluding myself from having you. No, 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 eat, no, 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 no. I'm gonna make sure. No, I'm, gonna I'm gonna get gonna you something sure. anyway, fam. I'll do two orders. <laughs> uh, so I think. Our perfect day, we tried to describe our perfect day out with a significant other, but it turned into um, just a reminiscing. <laughs> but something like that is a perfect day to man, though. Mm, yeah, like having like a nice experience out. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I feel like perfectly, personally, I've had more like of those kind of days with like you and Lasko. No homo, but like it's good practice, isn't it? I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> But yeah, no, trust me, if, if you ever want if you ever want like these exclusive sort of motives, shout me, fam. Family probably like a like a meal, son, maybe. I think if I go out with my family, a meal is all I can hack, then I got to come home. Why? <laughs> too much stress. Like organizing stuff in like like something too ambitious is, is too much stress, do you know what I mean? Because like, obviously it's a family that you don't know who like Because with a you obviously choose who goes Based on what people are liking it mm. Like for example if we go to like um, I don't know let's say we go to like a comedy show We're all there because we know like comedy But as well, whereas, when you I go with family it. Sorry quick quick interjection here Yeah I went, I went to see Dave Chappelle twice And Kevin Hart once here yeah. All three of them dates Well one of them dates were with you What the 
all three of them dates banged, fam. The third one wasn't, wasn't a date, though. With me, me and you. Yeah, that wasn't a date. Yes, I was. It's come up with me. Huh? It's come up with a new name for it because I have so many of them with like you, Lasko, even like Prague. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, I, I prefer that, you know, because like, you know, when you go on dates, you obviously there's pressure to like impress people and stuff here. Yeah? When you go to for experiences out with Mandem, it's just like you you go there because you both enjoy something and you just have fun. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, if you're in, in a relationship, then it's different. You're both going there to have fun. But if it's someone you're getting to know, it's like you're going there to get to know them. And it kind of sometimes it takes the fun out of shit, man. I just done it, bro. I just I just thought, listen, I, I, I like Dave Chappelle. You're coming, you're coming with me to watch Dave Chappelle, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The same, same with That's the exactly what he did to me as well. Yeah. I don't care, <laughs> I told you, like, I'm not doing nothing alone, fam. I'm bringing someone along <laughs> with me. So you know, you know, if I couldn't go, yeah, and let's say nobody could go to Dave Chappelle. Now, nah, uh, gee, like, it's very unlikely. I'm not gonna find someone to. Okay, but let's say, on. let's say, just in circumstances, you don't find anyone, and like it's the day of the thing, and you you can't, literally can't find anyone. It's time to go. I'll find someone on the road. What? I'll find someone on the road. I was listening. I was like, bro, do you want to come watch Dave Chappelle, man? So you're so afraid of being alone. I'm not afraid of being alone. I just don't like it. Like, what? Gee, imagine like watching Dave Chappelle, yeah, bro. Imagine if man went to watch Dave Chappelle, yeah, that that same show, bro. Cypher sounds with a grown man, fam. Yeah, so he grew me anyway. He grew me. Yeah, he grew. He did grow so, you. I'm not gonna lie. So you, you you took me so that the comedians can grow me instead of you. You opened your mouth. Who told you to open your mouth? <laughs> It's not like I heckled him, innit? He asked me a question, fam. He asked, he asked me what kind of Asian are you? I said I'm from Bangladesh. What did he say? So he, so he starts off with like, oh, in America, you know, we have the other kind of Asians, you know, like the Chinese kind. Like but you guys call yourselves Asian, innit? And he wants to ask us like, oh, what kind of Asian are you guys? And he goes like, Pakistani? Like, no. Nah. Indian? No. Nah. It's kind of peak, you know, because we're he he named everything except from our two countries. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. rude, you know. Kind of offended, isn't it? And he's like, so where are you from? I was like, Bangladesh. And he's like, oh, you should have just told me your dad was a taxi driver in Queens. <laughs> he was funny, though. Yeah, he's a cool guy, man. Yeah, he's a man. very cool guy. Um, yeah, so you say, you say a meal would be a perfect day out of your family. A meal, yeah. I think anything more than that is... I, I probably wouldn't know how to behave myself, man. <laughs> Around your family? Yeah. Really? What about in, like individual family members? What like my sister or yeah, anyone, cousins and that. Cousins so are different because that's like mandem, isn't it? Yeah. So, so those would just be like mandem, mandem. Just, so just sisters. Yeah. What your mom? Mm, probably. Yeah, probably a meal, man. Maybe like maybe like a drive somewhere or something. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, nothing, too, it... nothing too mad though, because I want to save that for you, innit? What the hell? <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I have like, it depends on which family member it is, innit? What so, would you think of that? Me and my dad, like, there was a time where we used to, he's like, he likes to save money, innit? So he's one of those people, who are like, oh, let's not waste money on this. There's no point in that. Like, that's too much money. There's no point. Like, why would we pay for that, innit? Mm. Sometimes you just gotta like whatever it is that like, book the ticket and be like, yo, we're going, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and that's it. But he's well, he's he's the one driving anyway, so like could, <laughs> at the end of the day, he can say no in it. But yeah. I would I don't give him the opportunity. So that, I remember Prague put me on to like uh, spa days, in it. I can't lie. So going, I, I think you must have been with us one time. Like I've me and Lasco. I've been with you a couple times, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was saying about that. Thing. It was the same that same summer, bro. Remember. Yeah, yeah, so then I take my dad there and like we'll go to like this place where you can book the like sauna, the the jacuzzi, all that stuff on for a day in it. Um, and then we just go out swimming. He likes swimming, and then we'll just relax. And I remember we were sitting in the in the um, jacuzzi, and he's like, "This is so like unnecessary, and you're paying for it and stuff." Yeah, we get in the jacuzzi, and he's just like, "So, um, do you come here often? <laughs> like, as in like, is there any way we could make this a regular thing?" <laughs> I could see him just like relaxing. He's talking to me about life and stuff. I was like, "Damn, this is like the most we've spoken just like about nothing." Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because usually when we speak, it's about like things that are going on and stuff like that. But it's just about we're speaking like, "Oh, how's life? What are you up to these days? 
on that dam. Yeah, so those days for my dad were pretty cool as well. Yeah, did you go on a lot of them uh, dates with your dad? Man, like days, bro. Days I don't know what, dad, the, I don't, what, the, what do I call it, bro. Days out, bro. Days out. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, did I go on a lot of them? If you, mm-hmm. if you obviously we can't, we can't now in it because obviously, but like literally, he would message me like, oh, what have you got planned? To-? He would not message me. He would say to me like, what have you got planned today? I'm like, yeah, I got a free day. He's like, yeah, I got a free day. And then, and then we'll just go. It's cute. And then with my mum, we, we go we go to uh, cinema a lot, innit? Like, mm-hmm. let's say a new Marvel movie comes out. Like, I'll watch it first with her. Then I'll watch it with the man them. Or the other way around. I'll watch it with the man them first. And then I won't spoil it for her. And then I'll watch it with her, innit? Yeah. So you, you so you just watch it with the man them and your mum? Yeah. as Not not together. Hotel. <laughs> Obviously, you retard. Well, your mum's exactly. a Marvel fan, yeah? Yes, yeah, she, she likes going to cinema on it. And I like Marvel. And then we, I take her to watch one. And then she likes all of them. And then we just watch it. Do you, you guys ever watch a Bengali movie in cinemas? Nah. I've never watched a Bengali movie, you know? I've seen, I've seen one and my auntie and uncle are in it. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Like, from my mum's side. It's... Okay. it's it's a it's an emotional movie. I can't lie, you know. It's a, it's about um the, this couple in it, and they're they're a couple in real life, obviously, because they're my auntie and uncle. Like. No uh, way. They might be auntie and uncle, like brothers and sisters, fam. True. I wasn't thinking that though. Yeah, they're from they're like, um, they're they're so they're they're from Bangladesh, but they're called Chakma in it. Like they look like um Oriental in it. They're more more East Asian. Mm. Um. They like have like Burmese or Nepalese roots and stuff in it, but basically in, in the movie, they're a couple and the, the uncle's a doctor in it, um, and they they like adopt a boy who was like the product of you know obviously like between Pakistan and Bangladesh there was like a genocide and there was like mass rape and stuff in it, so it's about like the children who sort of like got abandoned in during that time of due to obviously like because of this like this this the shame of things and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's a good movie though. It's emotional. I can't lie. You should watch it one time. I'm not watching that. I'll watch it with you next time. The next episode is just gonna be a, uh, like a what, an hour and a half watch along of us watching that movie. I lie. I'm not watching that movie, bro. I hate watching emotional movies. Yeah, so we had a good episode today. Um, host only. Um, soon see the mandate next week, hopefully. Um, but I think what what was your main takeaway from this episode? We always spoke about, about was girls. <laughs> <laughs> I think my main takeaway from this episode, like leaving this episode right now, is I'm gonna have to listen to it back and say, think, do I want that out? Do I not want that out? <laughs> That's probably gonna be the next like 24 hours of my life is just be checking that out and seeing if it's okay. Why? 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 What does it need to be okay for? Wow! 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 Surely, surely. Well, you have something to hide? Yeah. Well, I, got plen- I got plenty to hide. No, I'm joking. I'm, I'm like, when it came to the, the, the day out with a significant other, I'm very inexperienced. I go out with the man more, way more. Mm. Yeah, because I, I, when I go out, I just want to have a good time, have fun. <laughs> what are you saying? You can't have that with a girl? Yeah, it's too much stress, man. Too much stress. It's only stress because you're, you're making it stressful, man. All right, bro. You just gotta, you just gotta just be yourself, man, isn't it? So, so, yeah. Can I take your mom out then? You know the maddest thing is, you know I will see your mom, fam. <laughs> what, what's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean, bro? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Just get out of here, Mike. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I like your mom still. You're not allowed to say that no more. You're not allowed to say that. More. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not allowed to say yeah. anything around you. You're a scared fan. No, I'm not. I'm a nice guy. What? All right, we'll leave it on this one, yeah. We'll actually, because I need to go in a bit. We'll, we'll actually leave on this one. So, <clears throat> obviously, hol- not including holidays, yeah. But once all this is all done and over, what is going to be the first day out that you do? Like, or what, 
if you had to plan one, what would it be? And who would it be with? Well, I can't and say it, who. I don't know who it would be with. No, as in like, is it, was it going to be with a significant other? Is it going to be with Mandem? Is it going to be family? What in, a significant other? <laughs> so what, what are we... No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you froze for a second. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think, man. Uh, I might just find a restaurant, like, to go to and just catch up munch. with someone, fam. Yeah, munch. But again, it, 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 like, other than you or landlord, I don't know who, who else. You landlord, like a few other man. I might go Cunch, man. Might try a little spot, like a famous spot in Cunch or something. I don't know. That don't, that don't count as a day out. It don't, innit? Yeah, because you got to stay there. Staycation. Mm. But that is what I'm looking most forward to. After, like, just getting, like, a cabin in the woods and, like, just chilling with the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh? You, lo- you laugh like a, a like an unoiled uh, unicycle fan. Oh, what were you, what were you doing? Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to most. Like a nice staycation out with Amanda, Lake District, Peak District. But for a day out, I can't lie, you know, I'm looking forward to the days where I can go to Shisha Show and just chill with Amanda, like, and not have to worry about pus spreading around diseases. Do you know what I mean? That's not going to be for a minute, you know. Yeah. Shisha yeah. is a fucking hotspot for COVID, fam. Yeah. Especially the lounges that you go to. I go to the same lounges as you go to. <laughs> I don't go to lounges, blood. I go to lounges with you. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't go to lounges. How does that make sense? You don't go to lounges, but you go to lounges no, with me. No, as in, like, you, you, would, you would explore other lounges. Like, do, you do you understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. Yeah. I, I, have, have this ro- I have the same rotation of free. You know who's active? Right. JJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He's active now. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Um, the main takeaway is that we're, we are down bad right now. We are down very bad. We, um, we speak French. <laughs> <laughs> we are down bad. Um, but I feel like out of all the mandem, yeah, I feel like me and you are, are very good at planning good days out, you know? Yeah. I think we're two MVPs in this game. Uh, you know I mean, I have, I have more quality than quantity. You have more quantity than quality. <laughs> dates, man. Trust me. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Gonna... If I told man like my dates, yeah, I don't want to give out give out the game, you get me? Hmm. Well yeah, so it was a good episode. Um we're gonna drop in some uh questions for you guys so that you can let us know. Drop in some funny ones. Like I think I exposed myself a bit too much today. <laughs> but I don't mind, didn't no, it? At the end of the day. Last got a bit too much today. At the end of the day, last got I am Laska. Laska is me. So it's one and the same, innit? So I made an ex- executive decision. But anyway, so... On behalf of <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, so um, make sure to send in any funny ones that you had. If you have any embarrassing stories, let us know. If you have any good ones, let us know. We might steal your ideas and use them on our next uh, adventures. Um, you would. I don't need to steal no one's ideas. You got oh, before we go, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, like all that stuff. If you watch it on YouTube, make sure you follow us. Man, share that shit, download that shit, man. Any last remarks, AB? Uh, so you said this, you said all this, man. If you, if you want to go on a date with Kyojin, we will set one up on um, after lockdown. Um, yeah, send your, send in your CVs. At Titan Talk uh, at gmail.com. We'll weave through them. We'll pick one out. You get me? You'll be contacted via Instagram DM. And uh, for a chance to win, uh, win, uh, win a date with Kyojin, repost this on your Instagram story. You made me sick. No, that's calm. <laughs> I'll, 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 let me plan everything. All you two have to do is just show up. Yeah, but you have not. to do you have to do all the activities. Yeah, that's not happening. But you have to do. You get me? What what is? So you're telling me you're gonna. Pl- you, I'm not gonna know what's happening. You're gonna plan everything for me, yeah? Yeah, and 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 you're dating it, obviously. Yeah. So after that KFC fiasco last week, that's never happening. Bro, listen. 
As long as you ain't do, there's nothing to do in your area anyway. Yeah. Um. Um. I'll, I'll plan. I'll plan a good date, man. I feel like yeah. after sharing somewhat, so like like two of my experiences, I feel like you, you should trust me, man. I plan nah. some. I plan I, tr- some I, I, I don't. I don't trust anyone who gets KFC for a Mister McBang. What else am I supposed to get? Please, Mac, is that that or McDee's? You could have got Chaiwala. You could have got Taco Bell. I ain't getting You could have got Taco Pepe's. Bell. I like Taco, Taco Bell. Taco How about that? Is, is I like so Taco bad. Bell. It's so bad. There's so many other things. Man, there isn't, man. Cheat meals. I could have eaten cheat meals. I apologize. Nando's. You, see, you ain't on no Nando's near you. Yeah, there is. Yeah, but it wasn't an Uber Eats. I was gonna say, I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to say it. Where it is. Yeah, no, no, I clocked, I remembered. Yeah. But yeah, um going back to what I was talking about, yeah. For let us know if you want to go on a date. No, it's not it's not he's not being serious. He's not being no, serious. I ain't serious, man. Why no, not, man? No. Please, man. I'm, I'm not serious about that. I, I mean I, I never even suggested in the first place. I'm not no, I'm not. How about this? Yeah, how about you go on a date, yeah, but you have an earpiece and I tell you what to do. I tell you what to say, sorry. What do you think this is impractical jokes, isn't it? Yeah. Nah, nah. I, listen, please, please, you, please. Listen, I'm gonna leave you guys with this, yeah. So this is what AB is saying. He's telling somebody who doesn't go on dates in the first place to Me take, do. Listen, no, no, I don't. First of all, he's taking telling someone like that who has very limited options in the first place to take up one of those options and listen to what he has to say from a guy who has no emotional range because he can't cry at a Pokemon movie and what is KFC for his best friend. Sorry, man. I'm leaving on that. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how pissed he sounds, man? Do you know-